Welcome to the Lundsman Overview Park, part of the Chautauqua County Park System. In this four-minute video, you'll see how the continental glaciation over the past several thousand years has shaped the landscape here at the park. And perhaps you'll learn something new about the history of Lake Erie. Standing here at the overview, you are at the northern edge of the Allegheny Plateau, a region of nearly flat-lying sedimentary rocks that extends many miles to the south into Pennsylvania. Looking across the field in front of you, the rather sudden drop in elevation called the Portage Escarpment gradually flattens out to the Lake Erie Plain beyond where you'll find the villages of Brockton and Portland. The New York Thruway, with all its traffic, threads its way across the landscape. And looking across Lake Erie on a clear day, you can see the Canadian shoreline. Look to your right and you may be able to see the Buffalo skyline in the distance. Tens of thousands of years ago, during the last ice age, this very spot would have been covered by hundreds, perhaps thousands, of feet of glacial ice. The southern extent of this glacier would have been near the New York-Pennsylvania state line, 20 or so miles to the south. With a warming climate and an increase in the rate of glacial melting, the southern edge of the glacier gradually shifted northward over several thousand years, reaching this location about 15,000 years ago. Your view at that time might have been much like that in this photo from the edge of the Greenland ice cap today. Let's reconstruct the retreat of the ice over the following few thousand years, ultimately resulting in the development of the present landscape and the formation of Lake Erie. It took approximately 2,000 years for the ice front to recede from the top of the escarpment to the lake plain. During this time, the meltwater from the glacier could no longer drain southward as it did in earlier times because now the ice front was lower in elevation than the top of the escarpment. The lowest route for meltwater drainage was in fact westward, across Pennsylvania and in northern Ohio. This resulted in major streams flowing across the front of the ice, eventually reaching the Mississippi River system. Several lakes formed as meltwater was trapped between the ice front and the escarpment. Around 13,000 years ago, a large lake, now referred to as Lake Whittlesey, developed. Its sand and gravel beaches extended miles along the late plain, roughly parallel to the shore of present Lake Erie, but about 200 feet higher in elevation. Ancient Lake Whittlesey is considered to be one of the forerunners of Lake Erie. In time, lower outlets were exposed as the ice front continued melting northward. This resulted in a drop in the level of Lake Whittlesey, only to be halted again to form another lake, Lake Warren, with a similar line of beach deposits, but about 100 feet lower. U.S. Route 20 follows the Lake Warren beach lines, and Webster Road follows the beaches of Lake Whittlesey. About 12,000 years ago, still lower drainage outlets to the east through the Mohawk and the Niagara rivers were uncovered, resulting in the lowering of Lake Warren, eventually reaching the level of present-day Lake Erie about 10,000 years ago. So to review, our model shows the glacial front as it melts down across the escarpment, the two major ancestral Great Lakes, Lake Whittlesey and Lake Warren, and finally, the disappearance of the glacier and the development of Lake Erie as you see it today. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you enjoy your visit to the Lundsman Overview Park.